Another thing I have, I want to emphasize is even in your relationship, even there are a lot of women that are going through hell, even in their marriage. And they are the ones supporting the family, going to work, cooking, cleaning. The same thing continues when the relationship goes sour. Sometimes we don't, we need to speak up. We need to fight it. We can't suffer like that. You know what I mean? So a lot of women also are going through some things. Great sipping on my liquor. Girls, them are come, them are one, them are thicker. But man, me are coming, me are one, I take up. Girls, them are come, them are one, and on the liquor. I steady sipping on my liquor. Then... Mm -hmm. So, guys, we are on Facebook. <laughs> yes, I see some people here. Thank you guys for joining us. My name is Katia Valino, and I have Vivian also on the other screen. We are all Nigerians, both Nigerians, and we live in Toronto, Canada. We talk about marriages, household relationships, especially on Sundays. We come on, we come on live, we mm -hmm. answer questions, and then we we talk, we chit chat, do yeah. everything that this has to. Uh, that has to go with uh, relationship and marriages. So yeah. if you're getting ready for marriage, if you're already in marriage, if you're in a relationship, this video will absolutely be for you. So yeah. what we really want to talk about today is um, really why do fathers abandon their families? Most fathers abandon their families, wife and children. We see that a lot in the community here. So, so that's what we wanna talk about today. Vivian, let me start with, I think you're gonna open it up and tell us why do you think that most men abandon their families? Um, um, it's, there, there are a lot of reasons. It starts from even choosing the right partners the values that you have, you know? Uh, some of us, uh, I mean, some women, and we are all, I can say some of us, went into marriage, oh, he's handsome, he has money, he has these, you understand? But we don't go uh, beyond that to look at the values that this man was brought up. Is it from a single mother's family? Is it from uh, a family that um, has a role model, even when, Maybe you're a single mother, there's a father figure in his life. And we don't discuss that aspect of what do you think about children. You see, most of the time, there are some people from this part of the world, they get married for four years, they've not, they've not had kids. The man keeps saying, I'm not ready. You understand? He's saying, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. But when it comes to us, she must be pregnant before... I get married to her. But they don't think about these children that are coming. Are we ready for the children? You may be ready for marriage, but you're not ready for children. That's true. You may be ready for marriage. You're not ready for children. Mm -hmm. So, and then couples do not go beyond that discussion and say, we are going to get married. What happened? If anything happens, how do we take up these children? Oh, I'm going to marry you forever. It's not always forever. We all want to be forever. Sometimes it's not always forever. So go beyond that and discuss with your partner before you start popping uh, our children, one, two, three, four, five. So, so we're saying here that basically what we're saying here is that most men are not really ready for marriage. They don't understand or maybe both male and female, there are so many things that has to go with being married. It's not platonic, oh, no. I love you, oh, we get married today. They have to really plan ahead about mm -hmm. the children that is coming, mm -hmm. especially yeah. when those children get into the world. They need to be ready. They need to accept that, that the children is here. So, so many things need to be changed around once you get married. It's not only me, me, me. It's not only you, you, you. It's about mm -hmm. us. Yes. It's us. about us now. Yes, it's about, it's about, us. about everybody. We become one, me, you, and the children. But it's very common here. Shall I say here or in the world that once... All about the world. 
-hmm. Once divorce sets in or separation sets in, the man leaves. And most of the time, most men, I'm not saying all of them, forget to do their daddy duties to take care of those children once they live separately from one another. Uh, uh, the men get uh, angry, um, depends on the terms of the uh, separation, the reason. Because if you see some men, if they found another woman and they are the one that left, some of them, they want to take care of their kids. And if it's the woman that drove them out, she had an affair, there's a new man coming, she's the one misbehaved. Most men wants to punish the woman. And they, they, they believe that the only way they can punish the women is to abandon their own children. That's stupidity. That's not punishing. But, I, I see but that. that is, this, this is, we, we see this all the time. We see this all the time. I have friends that are single mothers, a lot. I talk to people at work that are single mothers. This is not only within our black community, this is even within the white community. So we, we talk all the time. So, and then they just, they, oh, she drove me out. Let me see how she's gonna take care of the kids. So they, uh, because of this anger, they abandon their, their, their duties as a father, punishing the children. So. Uh, I, I, don't, I think in their head, they think that they, they are abandoning these kids and punishing the kids. And, uh, but I think that they don't understand what being a father means. A okay. father should provide, a father should nurture, a father should guide, especially emotional well-being. Well yeah. This is what the father means. So men, being a man and being a father are two different things. So exactly. people really have to be mentally ready. Are you ready to be a father? Men should provide and focus, uh, focus on, the, on their family. And this is why we talk about the background of those men. Exactly. Is that what I said from the beginning? What are background, the values? Yes. Values. What, what is the values? What are the values of this man? I mean, who, who is he looking up to? In case something happens, who do I go and talk to? You understand? There are some men, their friends who call them or their father will call them and say, what are you doing? Take off your children. They list him. If you, are, if you have a man, before you marry him, oh, I don't have anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't respect nobody. I'm on my own. These men are dangerous to get married to. They have nobody in their life. And you are happy because you're going to have him all to yourself. But marriage does not always work out. You can see even pastors are getting divorced mm -hmm. after 20 years. <laughs> so it's to tell you that if, if, if your marriage works out, don't be so, um, oh, I'm too perfect. It's the grace of God and the, the values that both of you have and the commitment you have towards your marriage. You understand? So some people just believe, oh, you can never leave me. My marriage is going to work out. No, my dear. You have to go beyond that step to plan for the children, special planning for the children in the marriage, out of the marriage. So these discussions have to come in. I always say the best time to discuss is when you are truthful to yourself. Even when you are just talking, let's just talk, honey. Uh, what are we going to do? How many kids do you think you can handle? Stop giving planning, ahead, seven... planning ahead of time. Yeah, stop giving men seven children, four children. Ask them. How many kids can this we handle in this marriage? Because one of the reasons why people are getting divorced is the pressure. Some men cannot get pressure. You pump out five kids in the house. How are you going to pay in this part of the world? How are you going to pay university um, uh, tuition for six children? And your income is not, you want them to go on OSAP? I know there's a, the next uh, I mean, the alternative there, they go on OSAP. Sometimes men cannot take pressure. They just go out, they want to get out of the marriage. And sometimes they just stop loving you, not because they hate you. Sometimes you are too boring, you are not spontaneous. They, they see something but, but, else. What I'm talking about here is, if, you, if men wants to leave their wife and divorce their wife and go ahead, and that, you know what, it's, it's entirely okay, but what is not okay is that men leave and they don't remember that they have to take care of their children. 
even if yeah. he, he finds the wife not boring, not sexy enough, not attractive enough, don't want to do anything with her, it's okay. It's not the end but, of the world. But those but the children, children you leave behind, the children must be taken care of. The children are the ones suffering it. They have emotional abuse. Some people, some kids, teenagers, it sets in. I'm Go sorry. To drug, whether, psychological people like to, mm -hmm. whether people like to believe it or not, teenagers need both parents when they are they grown. Do. They do. And, ah. and, and, and I, I also see some women being uh, responsible for these men having access to their own children. Um, the man lives. What do you mean? Like sorry. Sorry, what do you mean not having having access to the children? You mean the yeah, some, the, the women sometimes they are not happy. The black the, 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 the men left and they want they want to come and take care of their children. She's still angry and she's using the children as a bargaining uh uh force. Okay. Oh, okay. that's uh, not yeah, good. yeah. If you want to see the child, yeah, the, you want to uh, see your children, bring this, bring that. Uh, you want to see point. your children, you go yeah. increase the money you are bringing. If he's already giving you like four, five hundred dollars, you know where he's working. He has to pay his own rent. You are jealous of the wife he's marrying to now because of that. You want to make things difficult for him. Some men really want to be there for their children, but very the women hard. are making it very hard very because difficult. of the anger of the whole divorce uh, um, uh, situation. And they, they, they forgive the men and let your children. I know this is hard. I know this is hard, but no, do no, no. it. For your own children. No, there are times when you go through this for a year or two. She's angry. Why did he leave me? I gave him everything. Now you want to punish him. You are not punishing your husband, your ex husband. Everything is on your children. Charlie, the girls, let them feed their father love. You don't know what father love is. He's the first lover your daughter is going to have. When you look at a man, you now understand this is how I'm supposed to be loved. My father always called me princess. Mm -hmm. Believe me, I grew up knowing I was princess. Mm -hmm. That was how my self esteem started. Mm -hmm. I want oh, to my daughter, I can share this. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, We're my daughter, you are beautiful. You are this. You're going to be that. So, everything from the words my father was talking to me, was telling me that time, as young as eight, seven years uh, young, from six years old, I could remember, he calls me princess. Mm -hmm. So, even for your daughters, it's good to have a father figure in their life. So when they, when they when they when when a man is abusing them, they know the difference. So you have to let go of the anger, forgive your husband, and let give him access to your children. It's very important. Most women are blocking these men from coming to take up their children. Very true. I know this for I, a fact. I've seen it happen. I can't you know? dispute that. And for those who let and forgot about their children, please. It's so mm -hmm. important. Look for a job. Be responsible enough to understand you brought these children to the world. You are responsible for them till they are 18 years, even above 18 years, if you can do more. There's nothing wrong in being there for your children. You are out there um, going mm -hmm. around, picking up different girls, going to vacation. You are not giving your children money for feeding. Imagine that. Can you not imagine? even for their school fees, just for feeding. This woman has to look for a um, uh, government house. She's working every day. She's leaving three or four, five children at home. Nobody's taking care of your children. And you are happy? And those of you who married um, men that have, that, that have children from their previous marriage, Talk to your, your husband. You know he has children before you married him. Mm -hmm. So there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong. You, 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 you are now their stepmother. Go beyond that and be a better person by telling that man that you are married to, to take out his children. Because some people get into this, this uh, marriage and they want to make their own children prince and princess. He had children before you married him and you know about this. And sometimes you are the cause of his divorce. You push him to leave his wife. So the, same why... thing, the same thing will come to her too. What goes around comes exactly. around. Why if you, you prevent... cheat with somebody, that person is going to cheat on you as well. Exactly. So why will you prevent him? You've taken um, the husband away from her. 
Now yeah. you're also taking the husband, uh, the, the, uh, the father away from the children. It's not fair. Believe me, it will happen to you. If he left his first wife, he might even leave you at time goes on. Mm -hmm. But what I'm trying to say, you women that are married to men that have children before, talk to them, encourage them to, do, to be a father to their children. Oh! What happened? Oh! <laughs> what did you do? Oh my God. <laughs> Don't ask me what I did. I was trying to see if it's showing on other platforms. And then okay. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to see if it was showing on other platforms. Okay. So anyway, I, I know you were going to come back. So like what I'm saying, um, you married to somebody that have children, please mm -hmm. encourage them to pay at least the minimum, whatever they can afford. Mm -hmm. You know, it's so important. I've seen marriages here and they, they are, their husband have three children somewhere. They just act as if the, I mean, the, the, their children is the only uh, one existing. You, you understand? That's not fair. That's not fair very very not fair and you know what some women when they do it when they come with those kind of behavior trying to put like i call that barricade so that they will prevent their their ex-husband from seeing the kids it rebounds it mm -hmm. rebounds later in life because later in life when these kids grow up they will figure out and they will know you know what daddy was not that bad mommy was the one that was preventing him from coming to see us you know, so it's mm -hmm. rebound. So women should always, always be careful. If you're going mm -hmm. through a divorce or going through a separation, do not bring the children involved. Mm -hmm. Involved. Don't try to use the children to spite your husband. It's not mm -hmm. going to work. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are so many bad men out there. We can't dispute that. When they use some women on the side as the pedal stone, mm -hmm. their life is women externally outside mm -hmm. of their married life some people yeah. get carried away they forget that their fathers they live some cutting certain kind of life where they do what do you call it the last time <laughs> where they go and do uh what do you call parangida what do we call it <laughs> they do parangida from morning till mm -hmm. night they forget that they have they have risen from being a boy to a man yeah. to a yeah. father. Yeah. But when you're a father, there are so many responsibilities that come with that. Yeah. Those kind of men are different. They are not really mentally ready to be yeah. a father figure. A father. But for men who wants to be there for their children and the wife or the ex-wife is the one depriving them from being there with the children, it's going yeah. to rebound. And when it rebounds, she will lose both children and the husband because now the children will start seeing her as not being a good mother. You didn't let daddy, you didn't give daddy all the opportunity on all the, uh, uh, you didn't make it easy for daddy to communicate with her. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's, it's being married or being in relationship you have to be mentally ready. I We ready. keep seeing it on this channel all every Sunday that we come here. People need to be mentally ready. Mm. Marriage is not cake. Not Marriage cake. is not moi moi, but don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't it can be me. easy if you come it, in yeah. ready mm -hmm. and committed. You know, mm -hmm. it can be so easy. We, you come in with the right partner, you have uh, the, you are on the same page, you are committed. It can be easy because love is sweet. It doesn't matter how you say it. Love <laughs> is beautiful. It's sweet. Love, love is sweet. <laughs> love is just so sweet. But what do you think that makes love not sweet? Why uh, is love bitter? So much. That b love is bitter. If you have that mentality that is bitter, don't go into any relationship because that's what you are bringing. You are bringing the negative uh, vibes Vibe. already. So if you, you see, if you, happiness is beautiful. When you are happy, people can see you are happy and they connect with that happiness that you have. So when you come in with it's that contagious. negative vibe, it's contagious. When you come with that negative vibe, that's what you're gonna be putting into the relationship. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. So uh, for me, uh, do we have any comments? Mm, 
Are you on Facebook mode? Let me check the Facebook mode and see. I think I saw something before. Yeah. Oh, some people are here. Tabena, you made some great points. Tabena, thank you for being here. It's watching you. Bring them on camera. Oh, bring, <laughs> bring who on camera. Bring those men on camera. Okay. Uh, we only okay. have like, uh, do you guys have, yeah, four people. Do you guys have any question or any tips? If you are watching us right now, what are your tips? Have you experienced men, husband, abandoning their wives or their families? Do you know anybody or do you know anything that could lead men to just walk away from their families and never turn back? Yeah, when we do live shows, we like to bring everybody involved so that we learn from you guys and you learn from us as well. Yeah, and you can go ahead and share, please. You can share. Yeah, share, 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 share. We usually do this on Instagram, but today we decided to try Facebook to see what's up here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Some men are not really ready and um, it's unfortunate. It's so unfortunate that the children has to suffer for the whole thing. Most mm. children. Yes. I've seen people who divorce, separate, but because of the children, they are still friends. Best friends. Best, best the friends. Yeah. They talk, they do everything. They talk about kids related. They call each other on the phone as long as it's about children and chit chat. Who's coming? When women are in good relationship, it shows all over their body from head yeah. to toe. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, the when... topic today, as uh, you know, um, Linda, uh, we're talking about men that abandon their wives. Okay. So, and uh, we want to know what uh, you're just trying to know why and what should women do if it comes down to it? What will you do to get what you need to get? So we're going to be discussing that again. Uh, maybe okay. later on towards the end, when we are addressing men that are abandoning their responsibilities uh, with their children after getting a divorce or separation from their wives. So that's where we are. All right. Nice. Yeah. So I was in the verge of asking the questions. I was asking the people, the viewers, to see if anybody has had, had any experience or know anybody who have experience, uh, know anything, why men leave their families and never turn back, especially the children involved. Yes. Do you have any points? Why do you think that men abandon their family and never come back when they walk away? I, I think also uh, for me, uh, we have to look at uh, the situation, not just the men. Mm -hmm. Might be because um, the man in question reached out to the woman. At some point, um, the woman doesn't want anything to do with the, the man. That's what Vivian said, yes. Yeah. And uh, you, you, he has tried so many times to reach out to you, to discuss with you. Uh, and I know some relationship out there, uh, women still, some women allow their hus ex-husband or ex whoever to be in the life of the children because it's very important. Yes. You, you have to take away sentiment here. This is about your children. Mm -hmm. But some women who doesn't have understanding, they take it personal mm -hmm. and they push away the man and they will come back and they will blame the man. Mm -hmm. If you don't allow him into the life of your, 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 your family, for instance, you don't allow any form of communication with the children, Sometimes the man will actually walk away and say, well, you don't want me there, so why do you want money? Why do you want this? And I know it's not the right thing to do because your children, no matter what, the relationship, you don't have relationship with the wife, you don't need to abandon the children. But we are human beings, you know what I mean. So it's like somebody's pushing you away and still want you to be involved. You will, some people will say, you know what, I've had enough of it. You don't want me to be part of it. When my children grow up, they will look for their father. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes we blame the man, but we have to look at, our, at ourselves as a woman and say, what are we doing wrong here? 
Yeah. Are we allowing that relationship between a father and children? It's very imperative we realize that we have to come into, you know, like we have to have an agreement. Father have time with their children. They have to bond no matter what. You are the mother doesn't give you the right. Yeah. But I know some African ladies, they think they're all that because of the, um, the, the, the um, society have given them the whole right. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So they are taking advantage of it. They know that the society or the system support them solely. So they are using advantage, this ad advantage of the system to destroy the relationship. We know where we're coming from. I'm, I'm talking to people from Nigeria, uh, Africa. Nigeria. Exactly. Africa. There are sometimes I have seen some Jamaicans, some white people, even though they said, okay, well, this relationship didn't work out. Doesn't mean that I'm going to cut you away out from your family. They still have a, a relationship. Okay, your son needs to talk to you. You know, you have to keep that relationship going. But some African women, believe me, they don't want anything. They think, okay, you know what? I don't want you in my life. I don't want you in the re in relationship with my children. And yet, you are complaining that the man doesn't take care of... Like, how does it work? There have to be a balance here. Yeah. There have to be... No, no, no. Let me, let me be realistic here. We have... There must be a balance. Let's do, look, um, look at it the other way. What if it's a man that have a full custody of their children and decide that, okay, I don't want the wife to come up. It happens mm. sometimes. Yeah. Because maybe the, the woman um, is a drunkard or something happened and then the man ha um, got the full custody of this child. How will you feel when this man said, no, you cannot come into the life of your children? Yeah. So that's my own opinion. We have to be fair okay. because fair is, is good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and for and for the men who have opportunity, nobody is disturbing you from taking care of your children, and you mm -hmm. are not doing your your, your job as your a father, work. your work as a father. It is That's a wrong. disgrace. Yes, you are you you are doing the wrong thing. Take care of your children, whatever you have, no matter what your wife. That's you true. Know? If she's yeah. saying it's not enough, let her know what you received. And for those of you, I know people. I know people. These are people that are. That I know in the community, these women they are very good. They went through a hell in their through, they went through hell in their marriage, and after the divorce, these same men they don't respect themselves. They are not even taking care of their children. And sure. when it comes down to it, that you've talked to their family, you've talked to their friends, you've called the community, you've done everything you need to do. This is not only about we. I, I spoke to uh, a friend of mine at work one night. She was telling me. She's Ooh. also she's a white woman. Her husband abandoned the children for her. Man, Three children, and one of them is a uh, is a, a, a special need child. Oh. A special need child. This man has not come to ask of his children for more than ten years. This is universal. This woman yes, comes to work. She's paying for uh, somebody to care, take care of his special need child. I, I I don't know. She, she's so she's so happy when she spoke about her life. I said, what are people going through? So if you've done everything and they are working, they don't want to pay, you go to a family law, um, um, get a lawyer, a family uh, uh, lawyer that can call them to the, uh, take them to the courts to pay their dues. I'm sorry. If you've done everything you could do, you can't carry this load alone. You get uh, a lawyer. If you don't have money, you get, uh, they have uh, legal legal aid aid. lawyers that can help lawyer. you to make sure that you get what you need to get. You can't just um, kind of um, let go and suffer and suffer. Remember there was a time, I don't know if you had this story. This lady was a single mother in our community. She went to work, she came back and told her sons she was just going to sit on the chair and relax. They came back, they were touching her mommy, mommy, and she died right there. That was about seven or ten years ago. Wow. The was all over you remember. Toronto. Yes. She was um, a single mother overworking. Who knows what happened? The stress was too much. It too much. Job, the man was not there. The man was not there. So there's no need to carry this load alone. We have the legal system here. Go through it. But before then, do everything you need to do. 
speak to his friends, speak to his parents, speak to anyone that he values or he respects. And after all, he's not taking care of his kids. He has a job. Take this up legally. Take it up legally. This is an get... act of wickedness on some men yes. who, who, you know what, they just leave without, because like I said, they use other women as the pedestal. The, anything they see out there is what attracts them. And they think that all that glitters are gold. There are so many men walking around in this community, leaving their family, traveling abroad, doing things with some side cheek and don't remember, forgetting that they have children to take care of. Hmm. Take it up legally. And believe me, do you know what can happen? If they refuse to pay, hi, she's back. If this man, take it up legally, if they refuse to pay, the government can actually seize their passports. Do you know that? Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's I a lot of that. things that can happen if these men are not paying. Because some women are becoming too soft. They are going through hell. They have five kids. They have four kids. How can you leave a woman with two, three, four kids? And you are happy. You don't even know how she's living. How she's paying their school fees, if there is a extra activities, mm -hmm. like sport activities, she's the one driving them to do their dancing, their basketball, she goes to work and come back. Before you know it, she's hypertensive. Come on now, if these men are not listening to you, we may take it up legally and get everything you are supposed to get. But before you do that, make sure you have meetings. Call people that he values, speak to his parents, Make sure you do and your tape best. record conversations, you know. So you record. need to take this up. Re record conversations, very important. Yeah. Yeah. This is the era of social media, everything. What's going on? Yeah. Take yeah. it up. The, the main passport uh la or license could be suspended, even the mm -hmm. driving license could be suspended, and if the, they can even retaliate. This is what women have to understand. Sometimes you are too sentimental. They can even recalculate what he has not paid for three, four years and give you your money. And for those of you who are also qualified for spousal support, get it. Because when it comes down to it, you're giving him everything. You begged him. You, you, you spoke to his friends. You, you, you called, you called the, the, the uh, the parents of the guy, you spoke to the community, you spoke to pastors, these men are still stubborn. You have to make sure you, you get things for your children. He's working. I can't believe I had a conversation with a guy. He, he openly told me he make six to seven thousand a month and he's not wow. paying child support to his children. Oh, Ooh. How brutal can this be? Hi, yeah. I call him. I call him back again, and I said, "This is not fair." He was giving me all excuse regarding what happened in the marriage. Said, the marriage is done. Can you take off your children, please? You have three children to take care of. Take care of your children. Yes. And he has been doing this job for more than four years since he left his wife, and this woman is so good. I said to her one day, what are you doing? What are you doing? He's making money, he's traveling, he's building houses, he's doing different things, but he's not taking care of his children. Yeah. So please, you are entitled to a lot of things in this country. Don't let it go. This is not only for uh, one particular uh, race, it's for everybody, black, white, whatever we call ourselves. Women, we are here for yeah. all women. If you don't know what to do, send us a message. Really, send us a message. <laughs> I'm so yeah. flabbergasted, you know, by somebody making all this amount of money and not contributing yeah. anything to... I am telling you what I know. It's not so what I'm told. And another thing I have, I want to emphasize is even in your relationship, even there are a lot of women that are going through hell, even in their marriage. And they are the ones supporting the family, going to work, cooking, cleaning. The same thing continues when the relationship goes sour. Sometimes we don't, we need to speak up. We need to fight it. We can't 
suffer like that. You know what I mean? So a lot of women also are going through some things and they, um, the family responsibility are left alone for them to take care of. The burden is so heavy. You see a woman working 24 hours, taking care of their children, and the man is out there doing nothing and just want to be seat. That is wrong. And mm -hmm. when are, there is a problem or divorce, they should also, they are, they're supposed to take care of their children. That's as a, it's a responsibility. Even, if, even if, you know, you don't need um, anybody to tell you that is your responsibility to go out there, work, work and take care of your children. And, um, but like I said in the beginning, we also have some things on us and on, on our side to take care of, you know, make sure we are doing the right thing. Reach out to them and say, listen, I need you to involve in your children. And yeah. then, you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and again, there is something that uh, women should also know. If you be in a relationship and what you did was to help this man attain his profession or get his career on, on, ongoing, and you were home taking care of the kids, you supported him, you should have been working. You should have also got, um, I mean, you should have also built up your career, but you stay back home. You didn't earn money. You didn't do nothing. And now this man is up there. He's not looking at you as if you are not his heart anymore. He has moved on. There is what is called spousal support. Because listen, if it's worth, if it's any good money, it's worth to do. Not only child support will it pay to you. The time you stay home is called spousal support. There is a way it's being calculated legally to know how much you are qualified for. Because what is going on is that we don't know the law, the rules and the laws of this country. Very even goes, Yeah. So this pastor support some, is called alimony. Some women who, who are on the high side of any, and when these men leaves, are paying pastor support to their men. Men are collecting it. Shame. Very shameful. Yeah. Men are collecting it. And, and, this, and men, they do not waste time. They know they are, they are right. If they know they need to collect money from women, they don't waste time. They have no sentiment about it. They are collecting it. So women, not only child support, Very you, are entitled to, you are also entitled to what is called spousal support. If the man earns enough, he can also give you child support and the time that you wasted, it's not wasted. I mean, helping him to build up his career, his company, you did nothing. You were home. There is a way they calculate it. So you can get both child support and spousal support. If you have uh, questions on how to do all this, you can inbox me. If you don't have money to take a lawyer, there is what is called uh, legal, uh, legal aid. They can help you. You don't have to pay. They are family law. They are there all over. They can tell you what to do. You can't be alone for two, three years. You are just taking care of the whole children. This man is here going everywhere, spent six months in Nigeria, spent four months in Ghana, some of them um, Indian, different, from different but countries. Advancing with other women. And, 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 and ignore the children. You don't even want to take out the children. So please, it's hard time you move beyond being so nice to that man and get your spousal support and your child support. Wow. And at this time, they will have to pay. The four years they've not paid before, they will have to recalculate it and pay. So you can have peace and don't work for some time if they have a job. And for the men who have refused to work, that are working under the table because they don't want to pay child support. If you are the wife and you know that, let him understand. I'm going to tell the government, go get a legal job so I can take up. Because you've got to do what you got to do. Because I've seen a lot of women when I say I've seen a lot of women, I'm talking about people that in, I, I've talked to in the community, people that are close to me, people that are, I give uh, emotional support to all the time that are going through this. So this is not something I'm hearing from, oh, it's a hearsay. No, this is something that I've been dealing with, with people close to me in the community for more than 20 years in this country. I have spoken to a father. Can you believe that? And I said, you leave 
um, not too far away from your, your son. Can you just go and see your son at school? Oh, he yes. said, um, I'm not going to talk to, to him. Let him call me first. Hey. You haven't seen your own son. Are you kidding 10, me? For more than 10, 12 years. He's going to school very close to you. You refuse to go and see him. Not even to give him money to go and see him. These children, they want you in their life. You, ne you were never there. So if, if you don't have money, Father, you can be present. You're, if you don't have a job, women understand when they don't have a job. Please understand until they get a job for about two, three, four months, they get themselves uh, back on, uh, on, on uh, back on to be able to pay. If they are owing you for three, four months, please stop. So women, I'm going to give you advice. So men are already paying child support. And this is in my family. They are already paying child support. Somebody close in my family, it happens to. They want to take their children. You want them in the bedroom. What are you doing? He's done with you. He's done with you. You want to get back to him. He doesn't want to. He's paying child support. He's picking up his children. Why do you want him to come back to the bedroom? Stop messing this up for your children. He doesn't want to come back. So let's be realistic. And there are some women, he missed child, child support for one week or for one month. He, they pick up the phone. I say, you usual well nagging, abuse him, his father, his mother. What are you doing? He's not your enemy. You have children with him. For the rest of your life, you are attached to this man. The only thing that is gone is, is the marriage. Your children are going, you're going to have grandchildren. The children are going to get married. He's still going to be, you're going to be seeing this man for the rest of your life. It's just the marriage that's gone. So why are you behaving as if it's your enemy? Forgive him and move on. Yeah. Forgive him and move on. Forgiveness is the, you, you guys don't know what it is to forgive somebody. If you forgive somebody, the load is gone from your heart. You are a better person, you are happy. The more you keep things in your mind, it gives you chest pain. You're, you are always squeezing your face. You are not happy whenever you see this person. You are hurting yourself for nothing. Forgiveness is a good medicine eh? to the soul. So don't mess this up. Some women are making this whole thing complicated. He's gone. Now he's doing well. You see him on a new car. He's looking more handsome. You want him in the bedroom. He doesn't want to be a part of your life anymore. Let him have relationship with the children. I'm telling you these things because I know them. <laughs> I have to deal with them sometimes and give these people advice. You know? Veteran. We are, <laughs> we, are, we are veterans in the game. Yeah. We are veterans. Yeah. So people don't need to go far to go look for uh, advice and stuff like that. If you need, you know me, you know Linda, you know Vivian. Hey, it's free advice. Every Sunday is here. You know, you can't go too far to attain or to get what you are looking for. But I think in my mind, I'm thinking that because the divorce rate and separation rate is too much, especially in our community, I think it's high time people start signing prenups. Whether you are making money or you are not making money, prenups is very important. Other people will think, will look at that and say, oh, you are saying that because you live in the Western world. Yeah, we don't do prenup. No, we should do prenup because we do divorce. If we do divorce, we should do prenups. Don't be carried away with so much love, blindfolded. Start getting your prenups. What happens when this happens? Because I am the one making money, all the money for the family, we will, I will not be giving alimony when the time comes and stuff like that. Straighten things out. We should. We should start talking about that. Yes. And women, I know you want to build up, you want to help your husband to build up their career. Please also at the beginning, make sure you are able to have something doing. You can do something from home. You can open a small company from home to grow. So at least when he leaves, you have something to stand on until you are able to get something from him. Because there are some women that have nothing. 
they were there supporting these men, cooking and cleaning. They live all their life for these men just to be something. And once they, they get to that place now, they just leave. These women have no career, they have nothing. They are begging to get child support. The same men they cheat for their career, did everything for them, has abandoned them. So now, as you do for him, do for yourself. Please, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Take off yourself. You have a career, have something doing. Listen, you don't need to go out there and work. We're in a new era where you can work from home. Of course. Where you can even go to school. Online education. Why is out there doing something? Take three hours a day. Get something educationally. Online education. Get something. Everything. When he's gone, there's no life for you again. Come on now. Let's make sure that we take off ourselves while we are also building others. So that is my advice. And who is there? Any question? We have 10 minutes to go and we'll be running up. Mm -hmm. From Facebook, can you check? Mm. Katya? Uh, yeah, I'm just reading. Hi, Blessing. Hi, Indo. That's very interesting program. Very important topic. Forgiveness makes difference. When yeah. you forgive, you let you lessen your body. Thank you, Blessing. Mm -hmm. Yes, Uzo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lack of patience and pride is yes, what really leads to most of most divorce. Mm -hmm. You know, lack of patience and also pride. Yeah. Ego. Oh. Yes, it plays a very key role in a relationship. Some people, you can't, Nigeria will say, I can't come and kill myself. You cannot definitely come and uh, be in a marriage and lose your head there. But if it's not working well, two of you can settle it amicably, you know? But I'm yet to see if there is any marriage, especially in our community, who like they will sit down and have mutual communication and say, you know what? It's not working. We got to go without fighting, without quarreling. I am yet to hear that. I have that, had a, a, that husband and wife sat down and they say, you know what, it's not gonna work. We are both being hurt emotionally, physically. We gotta call a spade a spade and go. Even if you guys don't have to sit down and negotiate, I call that nego negotiating. And then you find yourself at the verge of, you know what, it's gonna be over someday, somewhere, somehow. Just you can still be divorced or be separated and have and be friends. You can yeah, still be it, take, it takes time to get to that though. If it was a messy divorce, it takes time to get to that and that forgiveness to happen. But you have to make sure you get to that quickly because of your children. You know, let's be let's be children realistic. is everything. Children, yeah. children should come first. Yeah, because children of your children, everything. please let it go on time. So your children can enjoy their, their father. They can enjoy their mother. You, know, you see, these children, they keep quiet. You understand? You see them, they are very quiet. They don't want to offend you, the mother, when you say, oh, I can't go and see my father. It's affecting them. It is. It's yeah. mentally, mentally. Emotionally. It's affecting them. And behind, they just sit down there, they just start sniffing some drop. You don't know why your child is addicted. Because they are depressed. They are not enjoying both parents. So, any other question there? Who is right there? Okay. Any other question? No. Any other Joyce, comments? Okay. Hi, Joyce. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Joyce. <laughs> Benjamin and Akwe, thank you for tuning in. Yes, we have a whole bunch of uh, new, new people on Facebook today. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys. You guys have any question? Is there any advice, any idea that you guys want to share with us? We'll gladly take that. Indeed, this phone is very, very, indeed, this uh, background. Yeah, indeed, your background. There's a noise from your background. Yes. So, your phone is mute. Okay. Yeah, because I can't hear you. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. That's okay. I can hear her now. 
Can you hear me? Because I blocked now I can it. hear you. Now I can hear okay. you. So any comments okay. we have to address? We have six minutes to go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you have anything to contribute? In the you have anything to contribute? <laughs> well, advice to women. And uh, my advice to women is that I know relationship or marriage is not easy, but uh, communication is the key. When you communicate with one another, that will, can help a lot. And if you try your best and it's not working, just remember that you have kids, especially when you have kids. They are the ones that are, that suffer the most in in divorce during divorce. You see a lot of them, they will bottle their pain inside. That might lead to so many things. So sometimes let's let us take away the sentiment and just focus on the kids. Yes, you've tried, you've reached out, you tried to work it out, it didn't happen. But please, for the sake of the children, come to a mutual agreement. I mean, try to reach out to one another just for the children. The main thing is the children and stay safe out there. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Stay safe out there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't bring uh, COVID to your home. Don't go to your girlfriend's <laughs> house anymore. Those of you that have girlfriends, stay in there. <laughs> That's girlfriends and boyfriends. <laughs> and another thing is that you have forgiveness. I like that word. I don't know who mentioned that. Forgiveness is very important. Because for you to be able to work together with somebody who hurt you or you who you are really, really angry with is difficult. You have to forget, forgive at least, just to be able to, you know, work it out because of your children. Some mm -hmm. women, they stay in marriage, not because of them. They are suffering in marriage, but because of the children. And I remember uh, one, my daughter said, Mommy, thank God that you guys are not divorced. My friends in school, all of them, their parents are divorced. Oh, you see imagine? how they go emotionally, they go through some so, like turmoil, but you don't know. And it affects them emotionally and otherwise, even academically. But yeah. for that sake, it doesn't mean you have to stay in a marriage that will kill you. If yeah. you know it's deadly, walk away with Please. dignity, but try to have a mutual understanding for the sake of your children. Don't cut the man or the woman totally from your, your life, from your children's life. Work it out. Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm trying. Sorry, guys. <laughs> We've said everything. We yeah. have basically said everything. It's yeah. children first. Yes. We have to forget sen sentiment. Yeah. We yeah. have to forget being selfish. It's mm -hmm. about selflessness. Yeah. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about these children. Can we yeah. just focus on the uh, on the good things on how to raise these kids? That's right. And about me, and you know, I I, I kind of despise that when people in this era who have children when they're having conversation they talk about oh me oh what about children yeah yeah part of it <laughs> it's not it's not let me tell you i don't care where you guys are watching from as long as you are 40 years and above you have lived 50 percent and above of what god wants you to live in the world that's right yes. children are coming up yeah, it shouldn't be about me, 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 about you, you, me, me. Yeah. it's about these children, and there are yeah. things that we keep forgetting all the yeah. time. We keep saying, I don't want to say that uh, my child is this, my child wants to do this and do that, my child will be that, will be it's okay to always put the children first, but we also have to remember that when we live and gone, that we want to live a legacy that our children and the neighbors and the neighborhood and the community will remember us for. We will right. also be very happy to know that my child will go to school and say, you know what, if not for my mother. That's right, yeah. If not, I keep using this word all, all the time. It's about time we start making some differences, starting from the house. Yeah. outside because we have to make our children proud of us 
Yes. yes. They make us proud. We need to start making them proud. We don't want to have children who will go out and they will be so terrified to have carry out conversation to yeah. their friends because they yeah. are emotionally tortured. Yes. Yeah. So and, and yeah. emotions yeah. is the key. We need to remember our kids' emotion. It plays a very big role. Take, for example, you have quarreling or having misunderstanding with your husband. You don't want to say that in the presence of the kids mm -hmm. because it's going to affect them. Mm -hmm. The communication. And then think about Think about the actions that goes with that when daddy is calling and mommy is cussing her, him out mm -hmm. on the phone and stuff like that. So all these things are what we need to remember that the kids will remember us for something. I say, okay, after all, mom and dad are divorced, but they're still friends. Mom talks nicely to dad. Dad yeah. comes and takes us for swimming and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So the moment we start caring and putting the kids first, things will be much easier. Yeah, yeah. And one thing I'm going to say is that there's some uh, women or some men. Mm -hmm. forgiveness, is very, forgiveness is very hard. Do you know what you're going to do? Go, go out with this person. Express yourself. He says sorry. Let it go. I'm mm -hmm. telling him on the phone. You did this. You did this. I know you are going with the other women and with the other woman. Why did you do this to me? It hurt me. And you see how you say I'm sorry. Let it go. <laughs> Hi, if you refuse to say, if you refuse to say sorry because you still have ego, let it go for your own sanity. Let it go. Let it go because when you are happy, you let him go. You dress well. You meet somebody better. When you are still angry, your vibes is negative towards other men. They don't want you because you are not a happy woman. You know you are angry and you don't even see the next person to you. The, the, now the love of your life now comes after the first marriage. You won't even see him because now you look at men all the same. You the are same. negative. Believe me, people have look at Will Smith. His second marriage is better. Though there's a lot of uh, what do you call it? We haven't talked entanglement. about entanglement. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, that's funny. my favorite word entanglement. You know, sometimes second marriages are so beautiful because people learn from the first marriage. This from is the mistake I made. I don't want to yeah. make this make it take in my second marriage again. So, give, be happy, women. Men, if it can't happen to you, be happy. Look for somebody else. That's on the end of the life. Somebody else can be a better wife or a better husband. Don't just stop your life because one thing didn't work out, one marriage did not work out. So what? Move to the other one. You know? Look at the, uh, Jerry, uh, Jennifer Lopez. You know, he, she moves on easily. <laughs> no, those ones are celebrities now. <laughs> oh, they, they are out of celebrity. this world. He's not only celebrity. Somebody in my family just got married to the top guy in the <laughs> city. And my husband went. He still <laughs> he's only celebrity. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, before I die, enjoy your life. Because this man disappointed you, this woman disappointed you. Make yourself beautiful. Move on. You may have made a long, you may have made mistake marrying him. You didn't know because you were mm -hmm. young. Now you know better. You understand? If your second marriage is not working again, look at your choices. Look at your choices because it might be whom you are choosing to. So be happy and make others happy. That's my advice. <laughs> well, we're okay. rounding up now. Yes, guys. Thank you, guys. Uh, please follow us to know when we're streaming next week. If you will be here or we will be on Instagram, remember, follow us. Uh, yeah, followers. I don't know if you are watching this from YouTube. I don't think I connected it well um, on YouTube. But wherever you are watching from, please endeavor share with all your friends and families because these are key, vital informations. If you don't need it, somebody else might need it. Especially when we talk about how to get around when you are having divorce, how to get money, get a lawyer, and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> Share the inbox, inbox, inbox out. We'll reply you. Yes. You know? <laughs> we'll reply you. <laughs> yes, we are going through this. Oh, so many okay. people are coming. Thank you. It was the last minute. Thank you, Linda. She came on. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes. We're going to invite you. And uh, 
bring other people on board. Thank you, All guys. Right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>